What do Muslims think of Jesus? Isn't that beautiful? Pictures. Lovely. Most lovers, Muslims love and respect Jesus. They consider him one of the greatest of God's prophets and messengers to humankind. A Muslim never refers to him simply as Jesus, but they refer to him as Isa. But always adds the phrase may the peace and blessing of God be upon him. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Just to mention the guys. And you know, the referencing. I think people should probably just talk about him less than if you've got to do all that. Say, you know who? Oh man. I think they started actually doing an acronym if they're like, you know, peace be upon him. Anyhow, the Quran confirms his virgin birth and a special chapter of the Quran is entitled Mary after the mother of Jesus. Jesus was born miraculously through the same power that had brought Adam into being. Truly, the example of Jesus is, in relation to God, is as the example of Adam. He created him from dust and then said to him, Be. Yes. And that's Sirah 359. Got the one the glasses, that's the problem. <sighs> During his prophetic mission, Prophet Jesus performed many miracles. In the Quran, Jesus is reported as saying, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. I made for you out of clay as it were a figure of a bird and breathed into it and it became a bird by God's leave. I was like, okay, fine. Let's and I heal the blind and the lepers, and I raise the dead by God's leave. That's Surah 49, 349. Neither Muhammad nor Jesus came to change the basic doctrine of the belief in one God, brought by earlier prophets, but to confirm and renew it. Let's see, kind of a detailed job. Jesus said, And I have come to attest the Torah that was before me, and to make lawful to you part of what was forbidden to you. I'll be talking about bacon and shrimp. Yeah, that whole Sabbath business, he just didn't seem too hot on it. I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, so be conscious of God and obey me. That's Surah 350. And that's what they got on Jesus and in the Quran. Would say. I have, of course, I didn't bring any reference material, but uh, 
I've read the Bible and I've read the Quran and even the Book of Mormon and everything. And the first time I read the Quran, I was given a gift of it in the early early to mid eighties by a guy, I think he was Saudi. Uh it was a lot of fun. He was a cool guy. As a matter of fact, I can see it about a lot of people I've known, you know? Wonderful people, actually. Individuals, you know. And I really didn't mind what they believe. You know, believe what you want, you know. But um, I was given this Quran. You know, I'd been invited over for dinner. And it was wonderful. You know, and he even explained why he had moved the TT roller to the other side of the toilet. I was like, oh. <laughs> I forgot it. I guess you all know the reason, I guess. I guess this is the devil's hand. It's uh, the one you wipe your bum with, supposedly. And even though you can wash your hand, it's from a sandy, dry, arid climate, I guess, where belief comes. But the guilt just lingers on. You can't be touching the Koran with that. That's how it was explained to me, anyway. Uh... Anyway, I, I like that, though. I, I like the different people, and I actually like religious people, I'm just saying. But anyhow, I read the Koran, and it really did grab me, of course. I've been told later on that you had to read it in Arabic for it to rhyme and sing and all that. It would have been one hell of a miracle if it had done that in all translated languages. If no one could deny it, it's miraculous, but it didn't happen. Um, but that would have been cool. That would have, would have, that one would give most atheists some pause. Didn't happen. <laughs> uh, when I got to the chapter on Mary in the Quran and read the nativity story of the birth of Esau, pretty sure it was Esau. I have said it recently. Uh, I'm reading about God talking to a young maiden named Mary. I don't think there's really anybody else in the scene there, but tells her she's going to be pregnant with a miraculous baby. And she packs up and runs off into the wilderness. And then she gets all depressed. And the voices, the, you know, God's voice, yes, angels, I don't know. Uh, he's talking to her and reassuring her. This is Mary in the Quran. Totally not like anything in the New Testament. He borrows heavenly from the apocryphal infancy gospels and the Mary gospel. Very heavily. Um, and apparently it also borrows heavily from Genesis and the nativity of Ishmael. Because as soon as I read it, I ran back and read the, the story of Hagar and her falling out with Sarah because she, Sarah, thought she was a little too proud of herself for carrying Abraham's first child. And, uh, this, and then Hagar, you know, decides to run away into the wilderness with this, you know, wonderful baby. And um, in the wilderness, the voices reassure her, this baby's important, it's going to be a, a nation and all that. And same things happen that, ha that happened to Mary in the Quran, happened to Hagar. You know, like a, a spring starts flowing right between her feet, you know, right under her feet. There's like gates she can just pick. And in, in Genesis, of course, you know, the voices talk Hagar into going back to Sarah and you know, putting up a little shit. <laughs> uh, but in the Quran, it deviates at that point. And they got Mary show, 
coming home after all that time, living on, I guess, dates and stuff, and spring water, and she's got infant Jesus with a totally different story there. You know, nothing like any nativity story we've seen in Christian writings and pseudo gospels. Very different, but a lot like Hagar and Ishmael. I'm not so sure that his Esau in the Quran is specifically Jesus. As Christians would know, or as even historians would know. Sounds like an amalgamation. You know, they had the apocryphal writings and they had the story of Ishmael and Hagar and Sarah being a bitch. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. But check it up for yourself. Read them, read them horizontally, and you'll see that scene by scene, very, 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 very similar. Anyway, chime in. Let me know what you think. What you think? Let's find out. Wonderful, whatever the fuck you got.